and playing more Remothered. Man, listen, it has been one heck of an emotional and mental roller coaster ride playing this game. Um, but it's now starting to all make sense. Um, with us now knowing what we know, um, I don't think that there's any reason to investigate anything else going further. I think we just need to try to get out of here. Um, let's actually look at the things to do. Uh, and clearly the only thing we have left to do is to re try to reach the attic to try to escape. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to try to do. Um, so let's do it quietly. Uh, thanks everyone for taking the time to watch my play of this game. And hopefully we're going to make it out of here alive. Um, I think this door leads out to the hallway. What I don't like is I don't hear anything. I don't hear anyone roaming. I don't hear anyone talking. I don't know where Jennifer is. I don't know where the red nun is. I don't know anything. Um, yeah, I, I hear nothing. All right, guys, wish me luck. Okay, so clearly we need to go up the stairs. Is it me? Or does it look like all the lights in the house are on now? I don't remember it bringing this bright last time. No? Let me let me just focus, man. Let me just focus. Okay. How do we reach the attic now? Do we need to go back through the fireplace? Hold on, guys. Just just taking a quick because that we clearly can't. Okay, I just want to make sure that door wasn't available. Uh, we clearly can't go back the way we came, as we can see. The string to the attic door is gone, so we can't we can't even access that. So let's try going back through the fireplace, kind of like back the way we came. Let me make sure I have a defense item. I probably did. I just want to be sure. Um, let me see if we can get in there. Hope you guys are doing great today. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it together <laughs> if I can and see if we can get out of here. I should have turned my light on. It is super dark back here. Okay. This, this silence is killing me. It's nice to know we got a place to... I don't like that. I, I, I don't like that door being there. Oh, man. So you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to do an in-game save right here. So that I don't lose my life. Okay. Let's go back through here. Because I think what happened last time was we were in here, but just fell down. So let's try it again. I want to say like we slipped or something. Now, wait a minute. I thought... Oh, so now it's... Wait a minute. We went through there before. Now, last time that was, uh, now it's just a place to hide. What in the, what happened? Okay. Well, guys, I got to admit, I'm, I'm a little turned around now. Because I thought this was a way, uh, because when we were in here before, yeah, I'm, I'm a little lost now. How, how do we get to the attic now? I have no clue. Haven't the slightest. 
Okay, well, looks like we're going to be doing some additional exploring, guys. Um, I was sure that because um, that string was gone and she talked about escaping through through here, that we would have been able to do that, but clearly that's not the case anymore. Okay, so I'm guessing she's turning her own light off. Well, I guess that would be kind of dumb to hide in the closet with a flashlight to easily be seen. How else can we... Oh, maybe the uh, the elevator? Maybe? She is not... Like... All these doors have... Uh, Turn my light back off. Yeah, like I don't hear anything. Not a thing. But there are lights on. Okay, I'm gonna try the elevator again. If it's if it's not the elevator, guys, I I admit I'm I'm lost. I don't know how else we could get to the attic. Let's see if it's even working. Yeah, it is. Okay, it came from up, so hopefully that means we can use it to go up to the attic. Oh no! I really thought I'd let you go. No. This time. Man, get her off! No. Oh. No. What did you do? No. Not again? No. What does that mean? Man, please just get me out of here. I'm sorry, I, I don't kill me. Oh no. Maybe I need something to eat. What? I don't have anything. Oh yes I do. Oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't I forgot I had these guys. Totally forgot. Now <laughs> Okay. Objective reached the attic to try to escape. What is the new objective? It's just trying to escape? Wait a minute, the elevator's going back down. It's a whole new area, what? Okay. I hate I hate doing this guys but I I don't I don't like running the risk of not of not saving and then dying Oh man it's like right now we we got like three people after us we have um we have the nurse this after us we have Jennifer. Well, no, no. Oh, no! What the? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna bust that door down. We have no eyes. Oh, God. I'm not deaf, for sure. I'm sorry, we do not have Jennifer because, well, we set her ablaze. We sure did. So now we got her, but we where's who's the red nun? Oh man, look at all those moths over there. That can't be good. Cannot be good. Guys, I can't promise you that I won't die on this episode. I I can't I can't promise you that. Oh no! 
What did you hit? What did you stick her with? I, I can't. I can't with this, man. This is too much. What does this do? Switch doesn't work! Identify and resolve the causes of the short circuit. Okay. We have got to get out of here, man. So so who who and where is the You don't know any God Oh no 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 No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, I think I failed! Ah! Oh. Okay, guys, we're trying this again. That was that was a new feature. I hadn't I hadn't done that one before. So clearly, I, I think I have an understanding now. So. So wait a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna pause here for a second. Okay. So I, I <laughs> unfortunately I learned this through my death just now. Um, but did you guys notice that what she stabbed me with was the same uh, like spine-like sword that the Red Nun had? Uh, so I'm imagining they're one and the same. So maybe as a part of the mesmerization process of Jennifer or Dr. Felton, however you uh, want to reference them, um, maybe use this red nun to somehow invoke fear into uh, into Jennifer to stay Dr. Felton um, or something along those lines but clearly I, I'm pretty convinced now uh, that Gloria and the red nun are one and the same so this time we just need to actually um, avoid getting stabbed by her don't you understand you can't escape like she did. Like who did? See, like there's, I, I don't, there's nowhere for me to go from here. So we might as well just face it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Go to hell! Oh man! Oh, we're using the defensive device. I can't see anything. Wait, let me get another one. Run! Can I go back the way I came? Go, oh, Dr. Reed, come on! Alright. I just want to give myself a little breathing room here. But the only thing is, it's like she's she's trapped over where we need to be. Oh man. Yeah, like I don't think there's there's no other way. You the old man. How is your integrity now? I don't I don't know that we can kill her with these defense items though. That I don't think we can do. But maybe if we attack her way back or or defend ourselves way back here, it'll give us enough time to um, uh, to turn that handle. Maybe that somehow will... You did the um, same with the others. You burnt them all with no repentance. Yeah, see, some of the things that she's saying are a lot like the Red Nun. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're one the same. All right, Doctor Reed, we got to do it again without dying. Don't you understand? You can't escape like she did. I don't. I don't need to. I just need enough time to get Pat to get you away from where I'm trying to go. I don't even know what that does. I don't, I don't even know what that switch does, guys. Come on back. Because clearly, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any way we can avoid you. 
Is she blind now? Can she see me? Oh, I think she is blind, guys. Look at that. She can't see us. We oh, maybe because we, we stabbed her in her other I eye. Let's just be quiet. Okay, I'm hoping that she won't come back here like all the way into this area. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Okay, guys, third time's the charm. Uh, <laughs> we know, we know what it is we need to do. I want to wait until. Wait, where is she? Where is she, guys? Did it give me credit for opening the door? Yeah, oh no, 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 no! You can't just kill me with cortisone. Well, they can't say that I was trying to, but. Now I'm gonna wait till she actually comes back. You're pathetic. You can't just kill me with cortisone. Okay. Oh no! How did you find me? Fucking bastard! Maybe because I wasn't crouching still. Hurting a little bit, are you? I will make you regret your shit fucking heart. Wow, such language. I think that maybe that's what it was. Okay, now let's try to open it. Gotcha! I, I didn't know it was going to close behind me, but we'll take it. Where are we? I can't see anything. Okay. It's distractible. I don't think I need that right now. How many do I have? Yeah, I think I'm okay. What the f Are you freaking kidding me? Go, 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 go! We'd forget it. We're 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 not wasting any any more time. How? Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on! Go, 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 go! Good grief, man! With the freaking moss! Come on! Come on, Dr. Green! Come on, get him off! Get him off! Ah, come on! Okay. Alright. Good grief, man. So clearly this is, uh, oh man. Oh my God. <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. What are we doing with this? Pushing it? Please! No, no, no! Get off me! No. 
Like clearly she's blind, so she can't she can't see me. So she's kind of feeling her way around. Read. You're just a pathetic copy of yourself. Maybe. Yeah, we're at a really bad spot here, guys. She is freaking out and I can't get to this thing. How am I supposed to push that? She's like, we she were won't all leave. Sisters. How could you? What do you mean? What? Did she say we're sisters? I have no more defensive uh, weapons. Says you can only carry one at a time. About the only chance I'm gonna get. You shouldn't do that. Please. Ah. Oh wait. Oh. I think there was something we could have done. Okay, guys, we're trying this again. Uh, it's a diversionary, but I don't have. get that screwdriver. I, that's the only reason I did this, guys. I, I'm going to get the screwdriver. Because... No, I won't. You got to work to get me. Yo, I'm going to get you here, too. I got another I got another defensive weapon right here beside me. Let's get it. No! Oh come on! Uh, no! <sighs> this has proven to be an episode of death. <laughs> Many times over. Um hmm. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just avoid that all together. Please. No! Please. Dang! Fucking bastard! I was hoping that by not walking, by not moving fast. Guys, are we keeping count? Uh, how many deaths is that? Is that four? <laughs> Might as well laugh about it, man, because uh, it's not going to change how many my deaths, so I'm just running for it. Hopefully, I can get out of her reach. Can't go that way. Give me my light. Go this way. Head up here. Okay. Easy does it. And quietly. Come on, I forgot about these stinking moths. I guess they're not bothering me. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Okay. All right. See, wouldn't it just make sense to just crawl right, just crawl right there? We get the stab through the thing. Yep. You kill the old man. How is your integrity now? What choice did I have? Your crazy tail. No, no, no. Come 
Only thing is I can't I can't go back, I don't think. I can't go backwards. Well, we committed now. We'll turn around and go back here in a minute. Not here. You can't just kill me with cortisone. Well, if you're stuck over there, oh, but I am too, aren't I? Yeah, I am, because we crawled up. Oh, man, because I don't have, oh, yes, I do. I do have a defensive weapon. Okay, I didn't think I did. But this, this is the part that's like really tough because I'm I'm trapped in this area with her. Like I have no I have no way to like really distract her. Is she still over here? Don't you understand? You can't yeah, escape she like she did. Might be right, but I'm gonna try to. My eyes. No, 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 no. Stay back. No. See, it's not. It's not enough time. You see what I mean? I did that without her hearing me. You don't know any God! Now I just have to not get caught. For the umpteenth time. Where is she? Hey, you come on over here. There you go. You kill the old man! Come on, Dr. Reed. You're pathetic. You can't just kill me with cortisone. Man, I am so sick. You How did you just get over here like that so easily? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, the boss. What? Now watch, she just come up and kill me right after I shoo him away. I told you! Absolutely ridiculous. There's nothing I can do. And it put me all the way back here. Are you kidding me? Okay, guys, look. Um, I'm going to give this one more shot. And then if I don't get it this time, man, I'm taking a break. This this is this is doing too much. This is doing way too much. Come on, Dr. Reed, just go. We know we need to go now. We know what we need to do. So come on. We just We're just going. So I'm not even fooling with those moths. We're out of here. Now it'd be nice if I could push this out the way and keep um, my um, defensive weapon. That would be great. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. You don't know any God. I will. Make you regret your shit 
fucking hurt! Are you there? I'm not... No! Please! That's what I saw last time. What's that hand? Did I push it far enough? Nope. And like I can feel the um You're I can feel the the bag. heartbeat you can't just in the kill controller. I sure I'm sure wish I could try to. Now this is the part that gets me. So how I can't fight them off. We were all sisters. How could you? You don't know any God. My Can I open this door? Can I open this door? No. You burnt them all with no repentance. Turn it off. No. no. This Rip man, off. come on with this. Okay, guys. Uh, this clearly is my episode of death. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Oh, this is, I, I know it, and I can appreciate it because now you have to use a combination of defensive weapons, diversionary items. Like, it all makes sense. I get it. Um, it's just, it's, it's tough. It really is. So, um, you know what? Just for you guys, I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> and if I die another time, I'm taking a break. We're so close, I think, to getting out of here. So I'm, I'm going to try it one more time. Just for you guys. Get away from him! Come on! Chew him! Chew him away! Okay. This is crazy, man. All it why why I guess you don't want me to leave, obviously, because I know the truth. I know you're a nutso. You're a psycho. <laughs> um, and I won't tell everybody. Well, what choice did I have, lady? And I guess I don't I don't think my light tips are off. At least I don't we think so. We were all sisters! How could you? We all who? I think I still have my defensive weapon on me. If so, guys, we, we might be doing good. I will make you regret your shit, fucking whore. We were all sisters. How could you? Go to the diversionary item. Go over there. You're trapped in here. You 
that guys although this does not mean we we are man come on uh, get off get off get off of me where is she okay so I can't can't go up there yet. So we have to go this way. I can't promise you I won't get killed again. Are we going back the way we came? I have no idea where to go. Maybe it's over here. Well, I think we're, we're back kind of where we started. We are back where we started. Okay. be able to push this stinking button button now button what's a button y'all <laughs> i have no idea yeah. i'm so <laughs> tired of you i can't see anything <laughs> no 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 you don't no you don't not this time nope Take get this. off me It's the cortisol or the cortisol. I forgot it gives gives them like really bad light sensitivity. Slice you up, bitch! What what are you doing? What are you what are you doing? I need to see to know where you are hiding. Oh god! I'm not watching that. Nope. 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 She is clearly crazy. She cut what? Do it, Dr. Reed. Do it! Woo! <laughs> 
that great. Oh, this isn't how I wanted to die. Oh, I didn't want it to be like this. Oh. I should have never have come here. It's all my fault. It would have happened anyway. They didn't give a damn about the disease. They only used it to improve the binoxyl. The moths were the final piece for the cure. And to show the world how much they were, they had noticed how moths were acting on Felton after he caught the disease in Egypt in 58. Oh, he deserved it. We were all test animals at the plantation. They used us. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of God, giving us the disease as a sign. But then trouble came. The eyes burning, the bandage, the horrible pain in the head. All of this? Let's just forget. Phenoxyl was created as an antipsychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. To forget the horrors. As the father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Felton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation. When they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug. Only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. But we were only able to control the moths and be sick. Very sick. And those damn memories will come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always tell the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this. From himself. From his Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. <laughs> maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All oh, the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing and I, anyway, I don't... It's over now. No. I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. 
I'm nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the grass. Oh, I love doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness and seeing myself somewhere else where I could go far away. And now all these memories hurt. Oh, that hurt so much. Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? is real. I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Bad habit. Smoking. Never lonely. What's what's this? What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? You mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? No. Not at all. Take that trophy. So, I I have to say that uh, first, thank you, Stormind Games, uh, for just an amazing experience. Uh, I even though the game was was kind of short and sweet, uh, I feel like it did everything that it achieved to do. It the story itself, it draws you in. You immediately want to know what's going on in this household. You immediately want to know what's going on with Dr. Felton. Um, everything about the game uh, screams um, uh, engagement. You, you, you want to figure out what's going on. You, I, I felt compelled to have to keep playing it because I had, to see, I had to see two things. One, I had to see how the story was going to end. And I had to see how the story developed in its entirety. You know, so that was, in my opinion, it was very, very well done. 
Um, I I appreciate the fact now that we understand exactly what was going on. Um, I admit uh, the ending there. I understood some truths in the ending, but there were also some elements of it that I didn't understand. Um, but in a nutshell, I think it's safe to say that we all agree um, that um, Dr. Felton's father um, had some kind of, I, I don't know if it's Dr. Felton's father. I think it was Dr. Felton's father who had an arrangement with this Wyman guy. And to be honest, I, I, parts of it, I'd have to kind of go back and put put pieces in the puzzle that I'm and I'm missing a little bit. Um, but I think in a nutshell, what happened was Dr. Felton, um, Richard Felton, was actually a woman and was born a girl. And her father uh, took extreme measures to ensure that she lived her life as a man. And this this drug that that they were taking, this mesmerizing process, was meant to help um, Dr. Felton forget. Uh, any memories that he had of being a girl and like trying to consistently portray this image of him being a man. Um, and he, he started to crack and he knew that as, as a part of that, somehow, you know, Celeste, his real, his daughter was going to be affected. So he, he did some of the things that he did to scare her into leaving, um, which satisfied him because now he feels like, okay, if I do have a breakdown, at least my daughter's not here. And lo and behold, she ended up coming back. And that that really, I think it scared him. Um, uh, the nurse, I think she definitely had her part to play in this. You know, her part was to continue. I think, and you guys, you know, I'm open to interpretation. I'm open to you guys' uh, understanding of the game. But it seems like uh, the nurse's role was to continue, to keep that going, uh, to continue the mesmerizing uh, uh, mesmerization sessions and uh, keep the drug going in Dr. Felton so that he would continue, or excuse me, she would continue to live her life as a man. Um, and things just kind of became un, uh, unraveled when uh, Dr. Reed started snooping around and thought that, you know, something tragic had happened to Celeste, which to be honest, well, she says she's still alive, uh, but we have no idea where she is. Um, but yeah, snooping around kind of, you know, dug up some things that, um, were kind of like better left unsaid. That's why Dr. Bree was like, you know, she kind of felt like she should have never came there. Um, but anyway, um, man, this was an amazing game. I'm glad to have had a chance to play it on my channel for you guys. Um, I hope you got a real kick out of all the times that I died <laughs> in this episode, trying to get to the end. Um, I'm not going to edit them out. I think it's fun, you know, to see, you know, the human aspect of how we play games. You know, nobody plays a game like this and never gets killed. It's just, it's unrealistic. Um, and you know, I want you guys to experience it the way I do. So there you have it. Um, all right, guys, this is I am Morpheus, remothered, tormented fathers. Great game. Uh, I'm going to let the credits and things continue to play. If there's any more that comes after it finishes, uh, I will let that, uh, that go as well. If not, I will end the video here. All right, guys, I love you. Appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for sticking with this game and be, and stay tuned, uh, for more games to come. Um, yeah. So again, this is I am Morpheus, and I'll see you all again soon.